looks like this way over here is more gradual incline than going through all that thick stuff and going up. Right. I like gradual. Yeah. Gradual and longer is better when you're older. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Right at that, the right hand little tree. Oh yeah, I see him standing up. Yep, it's a buck. Sure looks like it. Oh yeah, I see another one right below it. There's there's one there's one next to him and there's one down below him. Yep, it looks like they are looking at us. How the fuck would you get up there? Well, I'll find Those a way. Oh yeah, before that, well a week ago I shot mine at, I could see one at 4.30. It's supposed to be foggy in the morning and then be hot in the afternoon. Oh, okay. So, so I don't know if it will be foggy. Right, who knows. Actually, it would be the best fucking thing of both worlds if we were socked in zero zero tomorrow morning. Yeah. We get up there. And it burns off. Right, catch them when they're bedded down. All right, today's August 12th. Um, I'm up here with Chimbay so we hiked up this ridge that neither one of us has been up before. And so, it's kind of new to us. It's, it's a little foggy this morning. We haven't seen any deer yet, but we're just now starting to get up into it. So, we'll see how it goes. It's a perfect day for hunting up top. But, uh, you never know what you're going to get when you're hunting somewhere you've never been before. So, our plan is to hike up along kind of sidestep the side of this mountain and then go hit and hit head up into the alpine um, we're kind of in the sub alpine right now so that's the plan we're hoping to get a couple deer and hike back down off this mountain but uh it's a gorgeous day out First one we've seen this morning, so that's good. It's something. Oh fuck, that's a long shot. Huh? It's a long ways away. On him? Yeah. Oh yeah, 
it's just a dinky little four key. Top top might be that one in the far background. No, no, that's what I'm thinking it is. Right. Buck, dude.
Got him? Fuck yeah. I'm looking at a big one over here, I think. I smoked him, Sam. Nice. Good job, man. There was four bucks. Right in one spot? Right here. Right there. Jesus. <laughs> I'm looking at the one out there. And it was 91 yards. I was going to make a shot. And an antler came into my fucking binoculars below me. Good job, man. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yes. Man, yes. I knew you were like, I knew you saw something. So I was like, I'm going to back off. I wish I would have got that on camera. Damn. Oh. There's two more bucks right down here. That one is still. There's one. All I can see is his ass end hanging out of the woods up there. Now they're looking. Oh, yeah. Ooh, the back one is nice. Of these two? Yeah, there's the one. The back one is... You could lay on that. On my back. I want to see what he is. He's 236. One by the tree. He's what? He's, he's barely sticking out from behind the tree. Oh yeah, I see him. I can't quite tell. I think he's a big forky. No, he's a three point on one side. There you go. He's gonna go up now. Man, I was looking at another one way up there, but... Man, that was sweet. So the doe went back. She was down there. So, 91 yards was a small fork of one. And uh, the doe walked right down there. And all of a sudden, in the bottom of my binoculars, looking at the one at 91 <laughs> yards, a, an antler went through my fucking binoculars at That's 40 crazy. yards. He doesn't know what's going on. Where are you at? Right on the other side of your deer. Okay, that's the four good horn that I was going to kill. Oh. What's that? one we saw. Nice. That's the one we saw. Nice job, man. It's a three point. Three by two. Sorry, brother. You were definitely standing in the wrong place at the wrong time. And you stopped to see what I was. Tracks him. He did not go far. No. This is the one that you saw. Right. Without a doubt. 
Oh yeah, no, there's no doubt. They circled underneath us and came up here. So, there was another, I haven't seen it yet, there was another Porcadorn standing there at 91 yards from where I was at. And, and so I'm, I'm looking down across here and virtually right in the bottom of my binoculars I see antler. <laughs> There's a big one. Yard shot. Sam, go up here and lay. Right here. Yeah. Smoke it if you want. Fuck, he's leaving. Isn't that dandy? Look at that fucking hole. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice shot, man. Definitely that buck we saw on uh, what 200 yards over there. Yeah, he kind of just worked his way around the bottom of this. I didn't think we were going to see him again. I thought he was taken off into the timber down there. Yeah, no, I thought he was gone. All right, Sam. You can tell these deer haven't seen a lot of people because typically, uh, in my experience, you shoot one and the other ones see you. They all scatter and leave. These have it. They're, no. They're, they're, they're still standing here. Yeah, that fork and horn over there is still standing there watching us. He probably feels pretty safe over there, though. Nah, I'm good. Well, Jim got a nice one, as you can see. Now it's my turn. I'm going up and over. That was awesome. Watch him shoot that with his cap and ball. Alright, I got a couple does right here. And I'm looking up at the top of that hill. There's a couple deer up there. I don't know what they're at, what, what they are yet. Jim, he's way the heck over here, taking care of the deer that he shot. What a awesome day up here. We couldn't have asked for better weather. I want to know what those are. Oh, there's a big 3x3 three three over on the other side over there. All the way at the freaking top. Right on the edge. He's the one to the right. I just don't know if I want to hike that far for him because I'm going to have to go down this valley up that ridge. And I'm just really conscious about having to pack him out. I got really bad knees, so I gotta really pay attention to what I'm doing. Try not to let my emotions get a hold of me. He's a really nice bug. He's a nice buck, but I don't think I'm going to go after him. He's a long ways away.
I'm gonna keep walking around. Maybe I'll find something. These crazy deer are following me. <laughs> He's a little buck too. Gorgeous day up here. I wanted to get a little bit of video of what we got here. Since I didn't get the shot anyways. Jim's already got it all boned out. Putting it in the bag. Best meat there is. God almighty. Here's what we got. Missed the shot, but I got an image burned in my head of him <laughs> celebrating <laughs> in a big cloud of smoke, so that's good enough. There's the deer all boned out. Big cloud of smoke. This morning was just the right temperature to generate a big cloud of smoke. Yeah. There's half of it. We're definitely going to have to come back up here sometime. Oh my god. Well, we're going to load these up and start packing them off the hill. Numb. Oh yeah. <laughs>